M0FX speed. Just a quick one on the Anytone 578 UV and 878 UV Bluetooth updating. So the, these are the instructions that I've got. Follow them through and I've carried them out further on. I had to use an older Android device. I think it was Android 6 or 7. Otherwise it wouldn't work on my modern Android 9 phone. So um, follow this um, step by step. You're basically going to the very bottom of this page. The link will be in the description and downloading these files here. Now within these files it says BT firmware. Just click out of that. You've got an update tool, info tool, BT internal radio and firmware upgrade process. Now they do say connect your um, phone to the computer to transfer these across but the quickest way is just to download Facebook Messenger. That's the quickest way and then Literally, when you're on Facebook Messenger, just click a friend, um, add a file like so, click send a clip like that, and then go to the where that is. I've got it here. Look, BT firmware, and just let's do one at a time. Firmware upgrade. Look, there's the actual firmware. Look, and then you just send it. Click send like so, um, and that way so you'll be able to download the files. Um, and you're further on in this video you'll see that I've got them on my Android device and I upgrade the 878 firmware and it does work on the 578 apparently so um, yeah but you know do this at your own risk and um, yeah good luck with it hope it works 73 so just uh, read down these instructions as well ignore the part where it's transferring from computer to phone and just follow the last section which is from I would say from here so what page is that? From page uh, two downwards, look, the actual process of running this correctly. Just read it carefully, step by step, get to the end. And, uh, and good luck with that. So 7.3, uh, all the best. What we're going to do is transfer those files using this older Android device that I've got, because I know it works. So what we did, we just added Messenger, Facebook Messenger, uh, we'll delete it afterwards because obviously it gets a lot of notifications. And in Facebook Messenger, there's the two files that I transferred from the previous part of the video I just showed you. And you just tap where the arrows point down and it just saves the files. Um, look, download, and then you open them. Obviously, I've already done that. There you are, it's already telling me to open them. Download it, open them. And then when you open the OTA one, that actually adds an app um, onto your desktop so it's already downloading it open and then it will say install OTA okay once you've got to that point then go back to your desktop and you will see that app it looks like a little green man so there he is there OTA so now just go menu on your 878 go to set uh, Bluetooth like so make sure you've number one turned it on which it is number two BT pairing seek so it's seeking now open this app and in this case because it's an older Android 6 hit the three dots at the top here now I'll try and dim it down so you can see what's there but it's a bit hard but anyway three dots here top right and then hit scan BLE right and then the one that is that is on here is this LE29DC. Now I think that's older than the one I've got, but we'll hit it anyway just so for the older ones. Look, connecting with LE, so it's connected, and now we hit this bit thing here that says Bluetooth. Okay, and then back out of that, and then choose the the B707 audio bin. That's your firmware, and then here it says upgrade. Click upgrade okay and now it's going to upgrade so these are two talking to each other now let's try and get a bit closer and it takes about well it was quite quick oh it, it, do you know why it's failed it's failed because i've already done it but it takes about i don't know three or four minutes and at the end of it it's upgraded your your bluetooth firmware so yeah i think ho hopefully this will help you use um, the previously discussed item, 7-3, all the best.